This video will introduce us to equations of circles and their associated graphs. To begin, let's go to Launch Calculator in Desmos. And I'm going to see if Desmos has anything related to circles for us here in their list of examples. It appears that they do. Let's open this graph. Let's see. R probably stands for radius. That would make the most sense. And notice, let's see, this is shaded. I wonder if that's shaded because of the less than. Let's see what would happen if we change this to greater than. Well, there it's shaded outside the circle, less than shaded inside the circle, and equals just gives us the circle. Hmm, interesting. I'm not quite sure why this is going down to negative 10, um, because we know radius has to be positive. So I'm going to change this to go from 0 to let's say 10, and we'll have it go up by increments of 1. So there's a radius of 2, a radius of 3, a radius of 4, a radius of 5, and so on. Alright, let's see what happens when I change the value of a or b. Now notice a is after the x value here in our equation. And it seems that as we change A, it moves the graph left and right, which is changing the x-coordinate. So this value of A impacts the x-coordinate of points on the circle, and this value of B appears to impact the y-coordinates of points on the circle. So let's see. Let's say I wanted to graph a circle that was centered at the origin with a radius of 5. What would it look like? So let me hide our previous circle here. So this circle I entered, it's centered at the origin, and it does appear to have a radius of 5. Let's say I wanted to have it centered at 3, 2. So let's try minus 3 and minus 2 after the y. Does this equation seem to be, or this circle, seem to be centered at the point 3, 2? Well, let's plot the th point 3, 2 and find out. Well, that appears to be the center of the circle. And we know the radius of the circle is 5, and I can see if I count 5 to the left and 5 down and 5 to the right and 5 up, that our radius is 5. So for your uh, survey, you're going to answer questions related to equations of the circles. You may need to go back to Desmos and do a little bit of exploration with the equations of circles. But we'll be talking about equations of circles in class tomorrow and ex talking about specifically why we have this squared plus this squared equals radius squared. Why that makes sense for the equation of a circle. Don't forget to do the survey at tinyurl.